A Michigan prosecutor announced a second-degree murder charge against a white officer who fatally shot Patrick Lua, a black man, in the back of the head in April in a residential Grand Rapids neighborhood. Kent County Prosecutor Chris Becker revealed the charge against Christopher Scher, a seven-year veteran of the Grand Rapids Police Department, at a press conference Thursday. I believe there is a sufficient basis to proceed on a single count of second-degree murder and that charge has been filed with the courts as of today, Becker said. Becker got the full report on the events the day after Memorial Day, he said, adding that investigations take time and it was a major decision after he was asked why the announcement took so long to be released to the public. Sher was captured on film fatally shooting Leah, 26, at close range as Sher had him pinned to the ground after a brief struggle. Immediately after the shooting, Grand Rapids Police Chief Eric Winstrom said the department would not release the officer's name to the public pending an investigation, but Sher's name began circulating on social media after the body-worn camera footage of the traffic stop and a cell phone video from a witness went viral. In the footage, Leah is seen by his car when Sher approaches and tells Leah that his license plate is not registered to the vehicle he is driving at the time. When Leah tries to get away from Sher during the stop, the officer pins him to the ground, slams his head on the grass and knees him in the back. Sher tries to shock him with a stun gun, but Leah grabs it, attempting to block it from striking him. At this point, police said, Schur's body camera stopped working. A cell phone video captures the shooting, as Schur is heard saying, let go of the taser before he reaches for his gun and shoots Leah in the head. An independent autopsy confirmed Leah was shot in the back of the head during the encounter. Lilia, a Congolese refugee, was unarmed during the entire incident. Liz's family said Sher had no real reason to engage with him during the encounter. His killing outraged his family and members of the Grand Rapids community. A witness told local media that he knew the incident was going to end badly as he watched. A funeral for Leah was held on April 22, prominent civil rights activist Al Sharpton delivered the eulogy. Sharpton called on the Department of Justice to investigate the shooting. Michigan's Civil Rights Agency also said it would revive its pattern and practice investigation into the Grand Rapids Police Department following Leah's killing. An arraignment for sure is set to take place on Friday.